Welcome back to our channel. I'm Fred Bergeron from Inaccess Security Systems. In today's video, I will show you how to address an alarm keypad as well as a 4 amp power supply. So basically, I will show you how to address new devices on the Prodigy GX RS45 network. All right, so let's start with the alarm keypad. When you first power up the keypad, you'll see that there's this error on the screen. So basically what this is telling you is that the address for this keypad is too high for the number of keypads we can connect to a single GX controller. So address 254 is the limit, is above, sorry, above the limit of number of keypads we can connect to a single controller, all right? So to change the address on the keypad itself, because this can be very useful if you don't have the server software up and running, but you want to start you know, connecting modules and making sure they communicate with the main controller, this is how you do it. I want to press X to reboot the keypad. When you see the firmware version of the keypad, you will press X again. Like this, X. Press Enter to go into programming mode. Menu 1 is to address the keypad. So 001 will be my new address. I press Enter to save the changes. X reboot the keypad. All right, so now the keypad will reboot and it will use address one instead of address 254. All right. Takes about 10 seconds to go online. Perfect, so we see now it is online with the GX controller. That is, that's the default greeting message. You have two lines of 16 characters. Uh, from the software in GX, you can actually change Line one, line two, you can display the time and date if you want, or display the name of the company, name of the integrator, and the phone number to reach tech, tech support at your company. You know, anything that is 16 characters or less. Now let's open the software, and I will show you how to address the other module types. Perfect. So under the Sides tab, we go to Controllers. We right click on the main controller, and you select the module addressing page. Now the software will scan the RS-45 network of the controller and display you know, the number of devices that are listed in the system now. So you see, we can see that the keypad with address number one, you see the serial number of the keypad, you see the firmware version and build number. We could actually change the software, uh, the keypad address from the software as well. But like I said, sometimes if you don't have access to the server room or you want to test the keypad also, you can address it from the keypad like we did in the previous step. Now I see my new 4 amp power supply, which is registered as analog expander. I click on the list of addresses and I'm going to go up to one. All right. This is a very important, by the way. Every module is addressed within its module family type. So if you have five power supplies, you will need to address them one, two, three, four, five. The same with keypads input expanders, reader expanders, you will always start at one if you're adding a new module in that type of family, all right? So there's different types, keypads, um, zone expander, output expanders, analog expanders like bar supplies, temperature sensors like the prt th one So all these items have an address, but they can be, you know, in, in, I can say in conflict only if you address two modules of the same type with the same address, all right? So it's okay to have keypad one, and in this case, power supply number one, address one, it is completely okay. Once I'm done addressing the device, I can click on the update button here, or the update all button, which will then restart the device and make the changes, and actually it's gonna reboot with the new address. That's it. This was how to address a new keypad and RS-45 modules with your GX software using the Protege GX DINREL controller. If you have any other comments uh, or requests for tutorial videos, please send us a comment below and we'll be very happy to answer you. Again, thanks for watching. See you soon.